draw the line on bugs. Hi, Dishies. I am at another estate sale. Yes, I am. And this estate sale is run by the same people who did the estate sale we went to last month where I showed you my, my elementary school, near where I went to elementary school. So let's see if we can find anything here today. I'm in the garage. When you go to an estate sale, do you like to start in the garage or end in the garage? I think that says cashmere bouquet. Did anyone's mom or grandma wear cashmere bouquet? This little corner over here reminded me of things that maybe you would have in your camper or motorhome. This is actually a thermos brand pitcher. It was very thick, hard plastic. I know, I'm back looking at this again. I love these little containers. I think that one said Revlon. Ooh, look at all that string. Well, I already got string at the last estate sale. Maybe I need more. Do you like these little jewelry cases? There weren't any really old ones here, but they were all a bit vintage. There were some nice velvet ones and some kind of funky glasses case shaped ones. I don't really collect them or use them for anything, but I like them. There were some fun things in the kitchen. Of course, you see all the things that you didn't notice. Oh, look at this. There were two of these. I think they said $5 each. I'm not quite sure what they were. There were some pot holders underneath. I think they were just decorative. He's pretty cute. I really like this box with all the recipes in it, but when I lifted it up, the bottom fell out. I know, yes, I didn't even look at them this time. They were priced pretty reasonably at a dollar a piece. There weren't any real old spice tins. Look at all these old jars. These were cool. They said Wellman Pantry Jar. Even that one in front is cool, that kind of multifaceted one. And the scale. Hmm. Uh-oh, ephemera, holiday ephemera. The sign said plain, the plain ones were a dollar and all the other ones were $4 a piece. This was a fun box full of vintage plates and napkins. They were all still in their packages, tablecloths. They were $4 a piece. There's some fun ones here. Holly Hobby. I have that jack-o'-lantern one. The Santa books were 4 and $5 a piece. Or maybe they were $5 a piece. One of the occupants of this house was an elementary school teacher, and there were tons of children's papers and supplies. This book, this reader, was about two and a half feet tall. It might have even been three feet tall. It was huge. It was $125. Dental posters and other how to care for yourself posters. This Paisley hat box was a lot of fun. It was empty. 
the occupants of this home also used to own a market in Monterey. This is an old pricer, and you saw there were some advertising displays underneath. So these were some retail reference items. So it was a fun mix of things. I think those were old stamp dispensers. Look how cute these chalkware elephants are. I haven't seen that style before, have you? Oh, Crystal, there was a box of bouncy balls, but they were in terrible condition and there weren't any funky colored ones. Look, some little mini toys to dig through. I love digging through stuff like this because ultimately I like junk. I don't know anything about cars, so I know there's money to be made off those, but those look like they were in pretty bad condition. I left that little doll. I don't know what that was. That is an old feeder, like a baby feeder. A scotch tape tin, it was almost like new. I'll just tell you right now, I did not buy it. I know you guys love your scotch tape tins. Yeah, I saw those dollies, but there was someone standing right there, so I need to look through this box. I used to love those when I was a kid, those little number puzzles that you try to get them in order. There was some plastic dollhouse furniture, but I don't resell minis and dollhouse items. This was probably her box of toys that she either took away from kids or gave out to kids. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a teacher's desk drawer? I know there's a lot of teachers out there. A lot of teachers who are my dishies. Oh, he's so fun. I like toys. Babies. Well, the sad thing about these babies is first, they were in horrible condition. They just kept getting worse the further back they went. These little squeaker dolls were vintage and very, very cute. And I thought I would pick one up and you see me carry him around for a little while. See, he's in my hand there while I'm looking at those books. But they weren't selling them individually. They were $20 for the box and there were about 13 or 14 dolls in the box. I just couldn't bring myself to buy it. They were in such bad condition and just to get one little guy. Well, he was probably cool at one point. Okay, well, glad you found this one as well. This is kind of a neat little picture. It's a really pretty amber color. It's like an ombre, and it's a really interesting shape. It's shaped like a cruet. More ephemera. Alicia, I wish you had been here with me. It's always breakfast time somewhere. There were a lot of health and science related books, so I wonder if this teacher also did some health and science teaching. I could, well, it was too small for the recipes. 
dollar each for these little office supplies. There were some pens in there from the market, which they used to own. So a lot of local um, ephemera, which is kind of cool. Look at those old receipt books. Rulers. $2 for hardback, a dollar each for paperback. That's still cheaper than the Goodwill and the Sally Army around here. I didn't see any really old books that caught my eye. And those were actually too high up for me to actually see. I got really excited when I saw this small little craft area here. There were all these paints and these are paint pens of some kind. I was looking for a price tag on it and I couldn't figure out why they were all still here. And then I picked one up and it said, embroidery paint or liquid embroidery and one of the ladies running the estate sale happened to be there and she said they're for giving a look that you've embroidered something in paint without actually embroidering it so they have a little bit of texture to them and I didn't think I could use them for anything else which was too bad because there were lots of them there this back room was just so huge and fun. It was probably a room that could have been used for like a, almost like an after school room. You could have put a pool table or a foosball table or something in there. There were two giant couches, a table, a sink. It's kind of cool. Now I looked at everything on this table, but I neglected to notice the cool roosters that are there. I don't even know if they're plastic or ceramic or what they are, but they were kind of cool in that mid-century way. Ooh, doilies. Well, I probably walked around this house five different times. There was just so much. This was the first day of the estate sale and I picked up just a few of the items. I wonder if you can guess what I picked up. I don't know. I might have surprised you this time. Come back for the haul, which I promise I will post right away. Ta everyone.